Hello. This is a random live stream once again. Um, so today I wanted to come on. It is about eight o'clock in eight o'clock Pacific time on Thursday. And I want to talk about something that I like to call phase shaming. And what what this really is about. Hi, April. If you come on, say hello, because I can only see if um, people come on who are on my friends list. So what I want to talk a little bit about today is phase shaming. It's going to be a short one. This is not going to be like a one hour topical live stream thing that I normally do. But I want to address the feelings behind this one post that I saw on a different group. So I'm on a lot of like witchcraft for your beginners groups, um, Wicca for new baby witches, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm in a lot of these newbie groups and there are some people like, I like to share, hi Liz, hi Victoria. Um, I like to share, you know, like if people ask a question, I like to be able to help them. I have like a lot of blog posts written, a lot of videos. I have like a lot of things to help people. So I like to, you know, try to help people in these groups. And so there are these people kind of like me who have been around for a while and try to help people. And there are people who like to say things as if they are fact. And it can kind of throw some of these new witches into a tailspin and make them rethink everything. And this is something that I read and you can see because I put it in the description because it bothered me so much. There, there are two sorts of things I want to talk about today. This is one of them. This, I'm going to read this post. This is a post. I did not post this. Somebody else posted this and I kind of lost my mind about it. <laughs> I think I did not post anything mean. Um, but anyway, so let me read this post first. So I believe people who feel bad at full moon have to reconsider their relationship with nature, freedom, their shadow self and sexuality. People who feel bad at the full moon need to reconsider all of these things. Okay. When the moon is full, it is time to celebrate, to do magic. If you feel bad when the lunar energy is at its peak, it's not normal for a witch. I am not saying this to condemn, but to make people think it is a myth. It is a myth. It is normal to feel bad. Besides the fact that that, that, that last sentence does not make grammatical sense. I don't think um, it is a myth that it is normal to feel bad. So when I first read this, I had to read it a couple times. Cause I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, but I am so sick of people Witches, I'm just going to say witches. I'm so sick of witches telling other witches what is good and what is bad, what is right and what is wrong, or what is what makes you a real witch versus, I don't know, a non real witch. And this is one of those things. So people. People connect with the moon and people's energies are going to be kind of aligned with the moon, but not everybody feels the same way at every, like for every moon phase. So for example, most people feel more energetic at the new moon. And I think that's part of the reason why a lot of people like can't sleep at the full moon. Um, you know, they're a little antsy at the full moon. And then on the opposite side, at the new moon, it's like introspection time and time to um, like consider yourself and do your inner work. And it's quiet time. It's not action time. It's it's quiet time. Um, and so when I read this, this really bothered me because for the f number one, um, and I actually wrote a blog post about this. Maybe I'll post it in the comments. I always say that. And I'm always afraid. I think I, I forget to post them. But like I feel terrible during the full moon. I don't mean I don't feel terrible. But I don't have very much energy. I'm always super tired. I don't want to do anything. It's like the first moon. The full moon to me is like the first day of my period. So when you're just like oh my god. Like. What is sucking all the energy out of me? Like, that's how I feel. So when I heard this person who is full of shit um, say, 
that if you feel bad, first of all, bad, I don't know what bad means. Like bad is such a random judgmental word, like bad, like, like negative, like about yourself. Like, do you feel bad about yourself? Do you feel physically ill? Like that does not just the word bad is just such a vague, wishy-washy word. Um, wishy-washy word. That's kind of fun to say. Um, have to reconsider all of this bullshit if you feel bad because it's not normal. Fuck you. I'm sorry. I'm cussing a lot because it's really bothered me. Fuck you, lady. You don't, you don't get to tell people what is normal, what is not normal for their own bodies. Okay. Like, and some people, like, I do not have a chronic pain illness, but I have depression and I have anxiety, you know, and I have, I'm, doing treatment for those things. But there are some days where you just feel freaking bad. Your whole body can hurt. And for somebody to say it's not normal for your body to hurt when the full, the full moon is happening, it's not normal for you to feel down. It's not normal for you to feel tired. What, what the hell? Like, are you an endocrinologist? No, shut your face hole lady. Like I was so annoyed and I, and I did reply and I remember I took a lot of time choosing my words carefully because I didn't want to say shut your face hole. You're not an endocrinologist because I'm trying to be like nice <laughs> in other groups and I didn't want to like start a big back and forth. But I did say like you don't get to decide what is normal for people. You know what? Because there is no normal. What's normal for me is not going to be normal for the person next to me. Also, the fact that she says, when the moon is full, it is time to celebrate, to do magic. Um, like in my tradition and what I teach, like full moons are working rituals. So it is time to do magic. You know when else is the time to do magic? Whenever the fuck you feel like it, that's the time to do magic. Um, there is no like special, like, of course, the full moon is a great time to do magic. You know, most people do their main workings on the full moon or even on the new moon. But like the fact that she's like, it's time to celebrate. And most people don't, that I know, we don't really like celebrate on the full moon. The, the moons are for workings and the Sabbaths and holidays are like mostly celebration. But for somebody like me, where it's super hard and super difficult for me to do anything on the full moon, because I am exhausted. Like maybe twice a year, I feel like doing something on the full moon. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, that doesn't mean I don't do anything because I'm in a coven and we meet on the full moon nights. And I, and that's why I wrote, a, I wrote a blog post about it. Like I'm exhausted. Let's circle anyway about how getting together and actually doing ritual can make you feel more energized and make you feel better. But this is not something that this person was talking about. So it made me very angry because you know what is normal? Whatever is normal for you. There is no normal. There's no right way to be a witch. You know what that is? That is whatever you're doing. Whatever you're doing right now, that is enough. You're amazing. You are normal. This is normal. <laughs> like you don't get, nobody gets to say what is normal. You feel like crap on the full moon. So you must rethink your whole life. No, 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 no. It is a myth. It is normal to feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm assuming this person is like 16 in great condition, does not have any illnesses. <laughs> like, cause once you get to a specific age, especially, I feel like this also discounts all people who are elders, all people who are crones, all people who are middle-aged even like my shoulder hurt for two days. Cause I slept on it wrong. <laughs> like, like as you get older, you just feel bad. So the fact that this was brought up, I did not, like, I did not appreciate that at all. So, and I've also seen this, not just in this one group, but this is the post that like made me kind of lose my mind a little bit, <laughs> but I have seen things like this before. So if you've come across this, people telling you, this is how you should feel during this phase of the moon. And this is how you should feel at this phase of the moon. Um, please know that you know what is normal to be to feel during the full moon, whatever you feel during the full moon, like the end. <laughs> you don't have, I mean, it's always good to like do inner work and consider all of your relationships and, you know, your shadow work like that, like we talked about a couple weeks ago, like that is fine, but definitely don't do it just because you feel crappy on the full moon. That doesn't make you less of a witch or anything. So the other sort of phase shaming I want to talk about is something that I, I read in one of my women's, like, it was like a, it's a witchy new age group. I remember 
correct. I belong to a lot of groups, but I think it was like a witchy new age group of women. And they said like, if you are not menstruating, we're all ladies here. Um, I mean, we might not all be ladies who menstruate, but most of us probably menstruated in our past, uh, at least. Um, so if you do not menstruate with a new moon, then you are not enough. Like you are not witchy enough. You are out of balance. You have hormonal problems because women were meant to to menstruate on the new moon because that's how it was in the olden days and everybody did it the same way and everybody, and I'm not going to pretend like I am some amazing his historian with a master's in female inner doings or whatever, prehistoric cave women menstruation rituals. That is not me. However, it's, it's really hard for me to believe that every woman throughout all of the sands of time forever menstruated on the new moon. And I understand we've got like the red tent book, which is great. I love the book. I totally recommend the book. Um, and in that book, um, the women pretty much menstruate at the same time, but guess what? Like, even if that's how it was, I'm not sure it was. I think I don't really believe in that. Hi, Julie. I feel like telling people that they need to try to change their cycles to menstruate on a new moon is pretty fucking controlling. Like, just be happy that you have a cycle. <laughs> like, I literally, until my niece was born about nine years ago, I probably had my period once a year, once a year. And my doctor said, everything's fine. My doctor's like, oh no, you're ovulating. I'm like, where the hell are they going then? Um, you know, I had all of the tests. I had the super unfun internal ultrasound. That is always no fun. Um, but like, I didn't really have a cycle. And once my niece was born and I held my niece, I had a cycle. Um, I had a constant cycle ever since then. And I'm really super grateful for that. So it's not like, hey, surprise. Um, but the fact that people are trying to, to make other women feel bad for not menstruating on a specific moon phase, I think that is some really fucked up bullshit. And so if you do see this, you know, I, I want you to think about like how you feel about that. And if you menstruate, if you like have your period on the full moon, that's awesome. If you have it on the new moon, that's awesome. Um, I mean, it just, it blows my mind that we, that in this day and age of like female empowerment and it's all like all of these groups I'm in are all super women power and, you know, be empowered and you're amazing and this and that, but also you should menstruate on the, on the new moon. Like, like, why are you telling people what to do? <laughs> like you must control your body. Um, and, and, and then they started like giving ideas on how to shift your cycle so you can, like you can like have your period on the, on the new moon. And I thought to myself, do you not have anything else happening in your life? Because honestly, like I have so much happening. Like I don't have any time to think, Hmm, I really need to like shift my, my period cycle. Like <laughs> I've got my day job that I work over 40 hours a week. I've got my business, I've, I, you know, I cook dinner, I try to do live stream. I like, I've got a lot of things going on at all times. You know, I'm a high priestess in a coven. We meet multiple times a month. So I don't have time to like put more pressure on myself. And that's another thing. We already have so much pressure on us, especially as women, like do all the things. It is Christmas time. The holidays are the worst. You know, women are usually the ones that have to like, figure out most of the presents and wrap the presents and do all of those things. You know, we've got parties to plan and parties to go to and dresses to buy and, and like so many other things in addition to work and clean and do this and that. And hopefully, you know, if you're lucky, you've got like a really good partner to help you with that. But like, we already put so much pressure on ourselves to be specific ways. And I'm not even talking about like, Oh, be skinny. Oh, you know, make your skin perfect and what's your skincare routine and all of this stuff. And now you're going to add one more thing to my plate and <laughs> telling me 
So I need to menstruate with the freaking new moon or else I'm not enough. No, 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 no. So that's a different type of phase shaming because, and I, and I like looped that all together and I'm not sure if I made that up or somebody else made that up, but, but that's kind of what I'm just calling it. Um, excuse me. <laughs> um, because it's just not right. And Whatever you are doing is perfectly fine and it is perfectly normal. Like, don't be putting extra pressure on yourself. Don't listen to these people who want to tell you that you're wrong, that you're not enough, that you're not normal because you're tired on the full moon or you have your period and the waning moon. Like, no, you've got better things to do and you've got your own life to live and you're perfect just the way you are. So if you come across people like this, if you come across posts like this, um, feel free to share some of the stuff that I just, <laughs> all the things I just said that, that you're normal just the way you are. Because what really, really bothered me besides this post is the fact that after this post, there were a bunch of people, especially women, because you know, most, most witches tend to be women in these groups saying like, oh, you're, I think you're right. Like I'm so tired on the full moon. I think you're right. I really have to do a lot of inner work, like, and all of this stuff. And then like five or six or 10 things were, were said and, you know, and it really, really bothered me. And then I said my part because, you know, I'm going to say like, that's silly. Like if you're going to do this, you're fine. Everything's fine. Um, you know, and then finally people were like, yeah, yeah, you're totally fine. But you know, it really bothered me that, there weren't a lot of people speaking up, at least not that I saw. Maybe I didn't expand the comments or something, but I didn't really feel like there were a ton of people that were pushing back on this. And so that's the end, like kind of a little short live stream, but really like this has been on my like list of things to do that have been bothering me that I wanted to talk about for a while. So just keep that in mind. Like you're fine. You're normal. So if you come across a, a post like this, completely disregard it. Or feel free to share some of the things that I said tonight, um, you know, in your own words or whatever, you know, because ever, what you're doing right now is normal. You are normal. You are perfect. You are enough. You don't have to feel like a freaking television, like witch. You don't need to wear your crown and feel super glowy and amazing during the full moon because not everybody does. Some people feel like that during the new, during the new moon, like I feel super creative and I do a lot of like manifesting and, you know, on the new moon, the new moon is my jam. I remember in high school, I did a lot of choreography and I was trying to choreograph a piece. And I couldn't choreograph it. I couldn't choreograph it. Like nothing was coming to me on the new moon. I ended up, I used to track like what I did in, in the moon when I was in high school and I choreographed an entire like three and a half minute piece. And not only did I just choreographed it that night, like the next morning I remembered everything. So if you've ever choreographed like three and a half minute piece, like you, it's you, the next morning you might have forgotten some of it, but I remembered everything. Um, and it just goes to show like that's, that is my like zone of genius. That's the time that I am the best at. So that doesn't mean like I'm bad or I am not aligning correctly. Everybody's going, everybody's energy is different and everybody is going to react with the phases of the moon differently, whether it's what you feel, um, the things that you want to do or your actual like period cycle, everybody's going to be different and everybody should be celebrated for those differences instead of being called out by some rando on Facebook who thinks they know better than everybody else. So the end, this has been kind of a rant, but it's really important to me because it really bothered me because especially when it's especially in like some beginners group and people think if people, you know, people who say things like random people who say things like they just kind of believe whatever that is without really vetting that. So that's all. I just wanted to say that. So I hope you guys all have a lovely Thursday night, a great start to the weekend. And that's it. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.